Hello everybody, my name is Anya and I am the No Frills Mama and today I will be giving you some practical tips to make your laundry habit a little bit more sustainable. So my first tip guys is to wear less clothes. Wait, I don't mean you don't wear clothes, okay? But at least maximize the wearing of your clothes. For example, your pantulog. Okay, so I assume you guys take a bath before going to sleep, right? So you're clean. And so you just really sleep in your pajamas. So when you wake up in the morning, you have to get out of them anyway. So don't dump them in the hamper just yet. So you can wear them. I don't know what your threshold is, but usually we can wear our clothes from three to five days. So that extends the life of your pajamas before they get dumped into the hamper. Tip number two choose clothes with natural fibers you know when you run your clothes through the washing machine even in hand wash some particles will sh certainly shed and that will end up in our sewers and eventually into the ocean and when they go into the ocean the fish the seafood that we eat can ingest it also so you don't want to be eating plastic and actually as it is we already do so if you can help it try to choose um, natural fibers like cotton and bamboo for your clothes next tip skip the dry cleaners and the plancha for that matter you know in my house um, we actually don't use an ironing board we actually have one but we never use it number one sayang sa corriente and sayang sa effort so Seriously, when I'm interested in a piece of clothing and I see that it requires some ironing or dry cleaning, I just don't buy it. Of course, if you do already have clothes that need to be dry cleaned or kailangan planchahin, just look for services that are eco-friendly. A quick Google search actually will show you that there are laundry services that use eco-friendly products so that you're sure that you aren't adding more chemicals into our sewers and eventually into the ocean next tip maximize your laundry time so when you use your washing machine make sure it's a full load para hindi sayang ang tubig and energy right and also you might want to consider going back to hand washing the lighter clothes that you have it's also better for your clothes actually and it will prolong the life of your clothes if you prioritize hand washing i know it's not easy but hey it would also be a good workout for your arms and another tip if you do hand wash maybe you can pre-soak your clothes the night before that you intend to do your laundry and that way the dirt and the grime and stuff and the smells will kind of be easier to wash off and please if you do hand wash please don't leave the water running uh that is my one of my biggest pe pet peeves like to leave the water running when you're brushing your teeth when you wash the dishes <gasps> oh please save on the resources that you can so use a palangana and then use another palangana maybe to rinse and one for washing so you get the picture just don't leave the water running instead of using a dryer you know what why don't you just go back to the good old days and use the power of the sun it's been rainy uh the past few weeks yes so you might need your dryer but when the sun comes out bilis takbo sampay na another tip is to use non-chemical solutions um for example vinegar vinegar can eliminate odors remove stains and it e can even act as a fabric conditioner for your clothes so that way it's cheaper and it's more accessible it's more sustainable to use it because it has no chemicals that will leach into the sewage right but if you do use other products make sure that you do use products from companies that have a conscience you know a, a company that might be thinking of the future rather than just profit i came across a brand um, under personal collection here I have one actually 
This biodegradable bottle breaks down 100 times faster than a regular plastic bottle and fully decomposes. So this is their fabric conditioner. Actually, all of the packaging of their um, products will eventually become biodegradable. So right now, I think it's the fabric conditioner and the toilet bowl cleaner called Tough. This one is soft. Put the environment into consideration with your business. It's just all around more sustainable, right? So these are my tips for making laundry a more sustainable habit. So catch my next episode for more tips about motherhood, parenting, and everything else with the No Frills Mama.